Hey, Hi 55 here, Nathan and Tristan. Um, so this is a really cool article that just came out recently saying that the uh, researchers at Cornell University have created uh, tiny miniature spacecraft that they call sprites. Um, and they're, they're, they're really tiny, like they're one square centimeter integrated circuits which they're hoping can withstand um, space and all the horribleness out there in the void. Um, and so that they weigh 10 grams at the moment, but they want them to weigh somewhere between 5 and 50 milligrams. And they're just, they're just packed, like, they're basically just little integrated circuits with a whole bunch of sensors on board. Um, so they've got, let's just read this out, um, basic spectrometers, load sensors to measure particle impacts, chemical sensors, and simple CMOS cameras. So they've got cameras. That's Far out. Awesome. Um, so what they're planning on doing is just, um, putting these into orbit. I think they can go into like 500k orbit and still be able to transmit information back to Earth. Um, and I think what they're planning on doing with this is just basically monitoring as much as they possibly can. Everything. Like monitoring, you know, different dust particle density and stuff. That's within incredible. Orbit and stuff like that. So that's really cool. Um, I don't know why people haven't, I guess we just haven't really had the technology to make it miniature enough. Yeah. But you think like, imagine yeah. these are one square centimeter, they're just tiny. Imagine launching like, millions of them yeah exactly in space, like in a safe place so they don't well that would be destroy the actually ISS. like yeah just spinning yeah. around like crazy <laughs> pelted by miniature we'll just satellites. shoot them at the ISS yeah <laughs> fuck you astronauts <laughs> oh, um, I, I like that they're doing this have, yeah. they, have they are they going to launch them have they got a, any time frame or what, what's the uh, go with it testing they're testing it, fair enough. Testing and planning. Mm, <laughs> I like that idea. Especially with cameras, though. I didn't think they'd have cameras for that. So Although, no, it says here the, the Spatial Endeavour carried the three of the prototypes to the ISS on its final mission. So they've already Ooh. tested them out a little bit. But it says it'll take a couple of years to find out uh, if they'll withstand the rigors of space. Yeah, yeah, fair yeah. point. But, oh, dude, the idea I had with this is, like, imagine if we just launched, like, billions of these little mini satellites. If you could get enough, kind of, if you could still get them have them powerful enough to send back information and maybe have like a little solar panel or something on there. Mm -hmm. Imagine launching billions of them just in every direction or just a couple to every single star you can possibly yeah. see. <laughs> like it would take years and years before you get anything back, but how mm -hmm. cool would that be? Like just sending out like this massive spawn of like uh, human, human <laughs> spawn out into the void. I, they're obviously really dumb chips. They're not nano no. spreading out. But I mean, that would be the beginning of of a swarm intelligence. There, I mean, that's yeah. the very essence of it. I mean, up in space would be the best place to actually have that have that happen. Yeah. I mean, billions up there. Say in the future, I mean, you can get perpetual like you know video at any point anywhere. Uh, probably not strong. No, you wouldn't get it. Yeah. You wouldn't um, the signal would be too weak. And well, I guess it's perpetual monitoring of the everything on the Earth, all the outside. Yeah. And with the whole swarm that you have to dive through to get into outer space. There's something romantic <laughs> about that. I do like that. Use like some magnetic thing to push them out of the way to send a space through. <laughs> I, I do like that. I didn't know that they were actually working in tests. Like, I mean, that's always science fiction stuff, but they're yeah. actually doing it. That's incredible. Have they said what they actually, what they're hoping to do? Is there any mission or is it just, um, just testing? Oh, don't make me read the whole article. Oh, I know. <laughs> it's, it's difficult. I'm just reading this. <laughs> the blurb and then adding my own fair enough, fair enough. on top. No, but they can also they also fire lasers in there. Seriously? And wow! They they're getting kittens to swallow on them and launching kittens in space just to see if that helps kind of cushion mm. the, the blows of space. And kittens are pretty cuddly and soft. Well, the kitten carcass is apparently really good. They're gonna kill the kittens. Insulating. You're sick. You're a sick man. They can't breathe in space. Not yet. I'm just saying. What the hell? <laughs> <laughs> Indeed. I am a sick man. Okay, I, oh. I want to follow that. I want to check that out. That is kind of epic. What else do we have there? That's about it. Oh, they also have... They, they have boxy type satellites. Have you seen that? No. Um, schools have been launching them. I, I don't know. What? I remember reading them way back. Like schools, like they put them in tubes and you have like a bunch of them and they're little boxes that flare out. Like they flare out these wings. You just launch them like, um, <laughs> like potato guns out in the space. Wow. And they just and they send out like their little boxes that they they can then track on the ground. Hell yeah! Like. I forget which school is doing it, but um, I'll, there'll be a link in the show notes. Yeah. So okay. Yeah, check that out as well. That's really cool. We should launch our own satellite. I've wanted to do that for so long. The balloon. Like mini one. Oh, 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 the helium balloon. The yeah. helium balloon. I want to do that. Is like the greatest project ever. Actually, attaching a camera to a helium balloon and seeing space. Oh, yeah. I want to see space. So obviously, the future here is we talked about before. Nanotech just blasting out into space and kind of yes. spreading intelligence throughout the universe from Earth. Exactly. And this is kind of like the, you know, 
very, very beta primitive. Oh, look how cute they are making their little integrated circus thing. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, epic. It's cool. Yeah. Catch you later.